Hi, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. We're going to start off the panel safety inspection videos talking about the most important thing. Yes, that's a life safety item, grounding. By today's NEC standards, you need to have two main paths to ground. Now there are several ways to do this. The three most common ones you will probably see in your house is with a water line, a ground rod, or a piece of concrete encased rod called a UFER. Any two will do. The first thing to do is to try and find what you have. Check the water line first. Now you don't have to run all over your house looking at different parts of the water line or try to find the ground wire. To properly ground the water line, the ground wire needs to be connected right where the main water line enters the house. Next, look outside for a ground rod. The ground rod you should find outside on the opposite side of the wall where your panel is. And lastly, the UFER. The UFER should be fairly close to the panel, maybe right below it, or if you have a basement, right above it. It will just look like a wire attached to a piece of rebar sticking out of the foundation. If you notice your panel is grounded only once, then you need to add another way to ground your house. This is called your supplemental ground. This is so if something happens to one ground, you have a backup. Let's say that your one ground goes outside to a ground rod and you don't have access to your main water line and you don't have a UFER. Then you might be wondering, what the heck you're gonna do to get your second ground? Well, you can install a second ground rod to use as your second means of grounding. It just has to be six foot away from the first ground rod. You also wanna make sure the ground wire is the correct size for your service. If you have a 100 amp panel, then you need to use a number six ground wire. If you have a 200 amp panel, then you need to use number four wire. Even though that sounds a little funny, you may be saying, wait, what? How come I am using a smaller wire, number four, for a higher amperage, 200 amps? Well, you're not. For electric wire conductors, the smaller the number, the bigger the wire. A number six wire is smaller than a number four wire. Always remember, the smaller the number, the bigger the wire. If you have found that your panel does not have two grounds in it, and you need to install a main or a supplemental ground in your panel, visit the virtualelectrician.com, schedule a virtual electrician to help you do it properly and safely.